this demo shows how to explore T-ratios and confidence intervals. Go to the option Explore. Explore T-ratios and confidence intervals. This is for the analysis that led to this model with these results that are shown here. So when I choose this option, let me just reduce the size of the screen so that we can see it. Then I get, uh, I'm taken to this screen where I can see um, critical T ratios. These critical T ratios depend on the confidence level chosen. I can, up here, choose a different confidence level, for example, 0.9 or 90 percent, and this leads to different T ratios which can be used for a hypothesis testing. Typically, the default is 95, and that's the default of the software that leads to these critical T ratios. And then I get T ratios for path coefficients, all the path coefficients in the model, including path coefficients associated with moderating effects, confidence intervals for the path coefficients, a confidence interval can be used for hypothesis testing by checking if zero is part of the confidence interval. Typically, if zero is part of the confidence interval, you will also have a low T ratio associated with that particular uh, coefficient. So for the path coefficient connecting e-collaboration and success, we have a relatively low T ratio below the level that would be considered uh, significant for a uh, one TLT test, which is 1.645. And we also have zero in the confidence interval associated with that particular coefficient. So this leads us to reject the hypothesis that that effect is in fact real or uh, not due to chance. We also have T ratios for loadings, confidence intervals for loadings, T ratios for weights, and confidence intervals for weights. These um, uh, coefficients for weights and loadings can be used for measure model, measurement model assessment. This concludes this demo.